What's up? What's good, Saito? It's the sensei. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! Okay. Back again for another reaction and review. So I know it's been a little while since I've done a reaction. I'm pretty sure my last one got copyright blocked. I was able to put it out for a little while. And then it disappeared on me and got blocked again. So I don't know what's the situation with that one right now, but I'm excited. We got a midweek release and I can give you guys some extra content. I had to check this one out because everyone was under the impression that Nas and 21 were beefing because 21 said that Nas wasn't a relevant rapper. And he immediately followed it with like, I think he makes great music and he's got a super dope and loyal fan base. I just don't think he's relevant. And like, I don't necessarily think that that's a diss or meant to be a diss. I think what 21 was saying is like, Nas is not one of the people when you bring up current rap right now that many people would think of. That's what relevant means. You know, Tupac is not relevant right now. That's not dissing Tupac. Obviously he's one of the best of all time, but is he relevant right now? No. Does he have influence on people that are rapping right now? Yes. But that doesn't mean he's a relevant rapper right now. So I, I think things kind of got blown out of proportion. But let's go ahead and see what they have to say here on this track called One Mic and One Gun by Nas and 21 Savage, produced by Hit Boy. Ain't no back and forth, ain't no left or right. I got King's disease, but I move like a knight. Rappers bandwagon trying to get some light. I do it for the fam, never for the hype. When you turn a legend, no such thing is relevant. They must have forgot that I'm a new rapper that got integrity. All in the media and blogs, that's just a place I don't care to be. Most of these niggas wouldn't say shit if they was ahead of me. Okay, yep, 21 came off the jump, just going ahead and addressing what he had said. So he says, when you turn to legend, no such thing as relevance. And then he also tweeted at one point, I would never disrespect Nas or any legend who paved the way for me. Y'all be trying to take stuff and run with it. So, you know, he's, he's getting back control of the situation. Like I had stated before, he wasn't trying to diss Nas. And he goes ahead and says this here in the verse where he says, all of the media and blogs, that's just a place I don't care to be. Most of these niggas wouldn't say shit if they was ahead of me. So essentially like, you know, these media platforms are just saying shit just to get clicks, but like they wouldn't actually say anything to 21's face if they saw him, if they were standing ahead of him. But yeah, I'm glad he just got off the jump and addressed that there. Back then, I do it right now. I open a lane for my era. I'm good that they gave me the crown. Go with all the success, come nigga the press. I'm watching it pound. They saying that black music dying. I'm saying they right by the south. But look at me now, damn y'all. Look at me now. Whatever I do isn't why. I'm keeping the queens because that's my side. I shook up the town. I shook up the city. I shook up the states. I went 21 on my second run. They shook up with age. It's a conversation. It's determination. Your interpretation. I just shot the nation. Did my tour with the room. I came back and I set the pace. Fake is running. What am I gripping to? What I replace? Uh, two Caucasians. So far to their faces. Most of y'all assume that. The I just want to point out the fact that. Nas said, I shook up the town, I shook up the city, I shook up the state, obviously New York. Um, but then he says, I'm with 21 on my second run, this shit come with age. Essentially, Nas had a good run back in the 90s and then, you know, he was a little bit quiet for a while. And then he decided to come back and go hard on rap. He's making his effort at being relevant, but he's talking about how most rappers couldn't even like have an opportunity to truly have a second run, you know? And so he says, this shit cometh age. Because he, he's been around a long time to be able to do something like that. Black is exploitation. Jesus. They know that I see everything invested in ring. It's cool to be mainstream. I'd rather be timeless. That's if we keep it in peak. 21. 21, 21. I'm on that same trajectory. Bullet wounds in jail cells can't stop me. This my destiny. Never controversial. I'm mad the fans expect less from me. Niggas sneeze around me. Wipe his nose. Don't get no bless from me. I just have to address the fact that 21 said I'm on that same traje trajectory so he he wants everybody to know that 
you know, he wants to be around for a long time. He wants to be a legend one day and have a illustrious career. And I love that he's gotten to that point in his rap life because when he first got on scene, it didn't really seem like he had much interest in that. He was just trying to make some gangster rap and see where it went. But he has been tweaking his craft the more and more we hear him come out with new music. I just thought some buns could hit they wildly on my wall and I'ma pass it to my son. It's savage like the cop out at me, Escobar the done. One mic, one gun. My net worth like eight figures. I'm working on getting me nine. You know that I'm one of them niggas. I ain't doing no cap in the line. You rappers been chasing the hype. I like the uh, flow switch there, but when he says the song title name, the way that he worked that in, I thought that was pretty good. He said, if Savage like Capo, that mean Escobar the Don, one mic, one gun, and then he goes into my net worth like eight figures. So he's a multi-millionaire, like 10 or whatever plus. And he said, I'm trying to make it nine. So he's trying to be a hundred, have hundreds of millions of dollars. And I mean, it could happen if he really stays on his game and makes the right business moves, maybe one day. Do it and I'll be trying. I ain't going against no legend, nigga. I'm trying to be next in line. They acting like I just pop. Exactly. I just played with five sign. I went platinum without no features. I put platinum on your mind. Mm -hmm. This block I got too tone. And this bitch don't bust no rhyme. They want to see me flip so they can deport me like I'm shine. No back and forth. I did it back then. I do it right I, now. I think it's worth acknowledging what he just said there. Um, he was saying that some of these people were acting like 21 Savage, like, just got popping um, when he made the relevant comment, but when in reality, I think 21 has been big since what, like 2015, 2015, I think it was. I mean, I think he was back on the 2016 XXL Cypher with Yachty, Uzi, all them, you know. So you can't say that he hasn't been around for a while now. Like, it's been like seven years plus. Um, so. Yeah, he, he's not necessarily a newcomer in the game by any means. And then he says he was platinum before he even signed anywhere. He said he went platinum with no features and he put platinum on our minds. And then goes on to say, this Glock I got two tone and this bitch don't bust no rhyme. And he's definitely like making a little nod to Busta Rhymes as well. Um, but bust no rhyme. Like it, it, the Glock's not trying to sing, like, it's it's here to shoot, but yeah, I, I kind of think he killed it there, I mean, I'm really hoping that some, like, Nas old heads are realizing that 21 actually is someone worth listening to, you know, like, he, he's a talented guy, that's for sure. They telling me that I'm the G-O-A-T, I've been here for a while, go, love me today, hate me tomorrow, no switching my style, 21, yeah, y'all get together, be big for the South, close, but look at me now, damn, y'all, look at me now. So at the end there, I was trying to figure out why Nas said 21 and Yak, y'all get together and be big for the South. The reason why he was saying that, and I totally forgot, Kodak got online after 21 had said what he did, and he was like, I, I gotta get on Nas's side about this, like Nas is still relevant, what are you talking about, 21, you know, that kind of thing. Sorry, my cat's being mad annoying right now. Uh, let me address that. Um, so I think he was saying that he wanted 21 and Kodak to be on good terms and both, you know, put on for the South, make sure people know that the South has some real rappers. So I definitely appreciate that song all around. I think it was pretty good. If I were to rate it from zero to 10, I'd probably get it, give it like an eight out of 10. But as far as like the moment goes, I think it's a 10 out of 10 moment. You know, like people thought they were beefing. Clearly there was no bad blood at all. And I think this is just good for rap here. Like this is what you want to see. Let me know what you all thought of this track down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed my reaction to this one, please go ahead and drop a like on the video. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all have a sensational day. <laughs> sensational. And I'm out. Peace.